In this video I'm attempting to remove a stump using an angle grinder and a wood cutting wheel. This little saw wheel is a King Arthur Tools Lancelot wood carving disc with 22 teeth and a 7 8 inch arbor. I picked this up off of Amazon for just over $36. The wheel itself is pretty simple, it's basically just a short piece of chainsaw chain that's pinched between two metal discs. And it actually comes apart so it's just held together by the tension whenever you tighten it down onto the angle grinder. So I went ahead and installed it on my Porter Cable angle grinder here. I opted to use the cutoff guard with this instead of the grinding guard in case the chain would snap or something crazy. So my first regret with this is that I didn't cut the stump a little bit lower with the chainsaw that would have given me less work to do with the angle grinder. My strategy starting out here is that I thought I would be able to cut off little chunks and gradually chip away at it, but I quickly found out that that wasn't going to work too well. After about a minute it was honestly pretty obvious that this was the wrong tool for the job and this whole thing was kind of a bad idea. I often try to experiment with different ways of doing things and see if I could find a way that's cheaper or easier. I don't know about cheaper, but this is definitely not easier than renting a stump grinder or just paying a guy to do it. As I worked on this thing, I tried out a couple different methods with the angle grinder to see what would do the best job of chipping the stump away. I thought I would be able to run the blade back and forth across the stump and kind of grind it away, but it was kind of hard to control because the blade really wants to act more like a saw and dig deep into the wood instead of going side to side. I tried a bunch of other variations of cutting this stump up, including this one where I cut a giant checkerboard into it, but they were all sort of just different flavors of the same bad idea, so none of them seemed to really work that well. And this isn't a criticism of the tool at all, this little saw blade is a total beast. If you were into doing artistic stuff out of wood, like carving bears or beavers or rabbits or whatever out of logs, this would be perfect. But as for removing a decent sized stump like this, I was probably biting off more than I could chew. But if you had a smaller stump, it would definitely be more manageable. Most of this is kind of repetitive and looks the same, so I'm going to speed through most of it. So any appearance of acceleration in the work being done here is purely by the magic of video editing and not something I'm doing differently with the angle grinder. I will say that the one method I found that made decent progress was to take the angle grinder and to cut several deep fins into the stump. And after you have several fins cut across the stump, come back with the blade and bump it into them to sort of knock them down, and then rinse and repeat. If I had started by digging out the surrounding dirt from the stump and then cutting it as low as I could with a chainsaw and then using this fin cutting method, I might have had a better experience with this. This whole thing was definitely a learning experience. After beating on it for one or two hours or so, I eventually just gave up and came back with a shovel and dug it out and got as low as I could with a chainsaw. So unfortunately, as much as I had hoped that I had found a magic wand for stump removal and that I could put it in a YouTube video, that was sadly not the case. Regardless of the outcome, I thought I would go ahead and post this video anyways, just so you know what to expect if you're planning something similar. The saw blade itself is a pretty neat little tool, so I'm happy to have it in my collection, and it'll definitely be the first thing I reach for if I ever have any smaller stumps to grind out. So that's it for this video, hit the like button if you found this information useful, and thanks for viewing.